Hello guys, it's Absolute Dawnest here coming in with another One Piece video, and in today's One Piece video, I have for you another Red Purple Luffy versus Purple Luffy match. Now, this is obviously going to be a good one because this one's longer than the last one, but let's see how it goes. So I start off by playing a Nami, looking at my top five cards, and grabbing that Purple Luffy Tendrop. Very good card there. And then Purple Luffy just passes his turn back to me, the Red L Purple Luffy player, and we go ahead and play another Nami, looking at the top five cards, grabbing another Tendrop. Luffy, okay, not great, but we go ahead and swing a total of eight into the Luffy's life. He goes ahead and takes it and then draws for turn and gets his Don. Okay, so will he go ahead and use that purple Luffy ability though? That's going to be one of the questions here because I have a decent number of cards in hand. He goes ahead and uses the ability though, rests five, plays a kid, and then goes ahead and passes turn back to me. And we go ahead up to five Don now. Good number of Don. Want to go ahead and play a uh, well, a card that goes ahead and plays a Don here, because normally by turn 3, I do want to go ahead and play something that will give me a Don. But what are we going to do? So we go ahead and rest 4, play a Law. Okay, so instead of that, we go ahead and neg a Don. Okay, and then we go ahead and get rid of two cards from the opponent's hand. We get rid of a Queen and an ulti. Not bad things to get rid of, to be honest. Not bad things. And then we go ahead and swing 7, and he goes ahead and blocks and drops a 2k. Okay. Interesting. So he is now on a total of 7 Don. With the ability to recycle Don as well, which is very nice because that 5 drop kit is very, very strong. It's a very good card here. And I'm just shuffling my hand, thinking what my opponent's going to do. So what's the Purple Luffy going to actually do here? Like 7 Don, he could drop a 7 drop kid. He could go ahead and drop 5 drop queen to go ahead and get 3 Don back. Like there's lots of stuff he could do. We go ahead and take a life though. Taking that hit. Okay. And then he rests 5. I think he's just reading it to make sure. Plays a Magellan and then goes ahead and gets a, well, negs a Don for me and gets a Don back. Putting me on free Don. That's not good. That's very bad for me. And then he goes ahead and plays a kid as well, taking two cards from me after I took two cards from him. And he takes a queen and a white hit out of my hand. It's very good for him. Terrible for me. But let's see what we're going to do on our turn now. We're going to go ahead and swing five into life. Probably trying to get him to use a blocker of some kind. Okay. Will he do that, though? So, it looks like he's debating it. He does choose to counter, though, dropping a queen. And then we swing seven into life. He goes ahead and blocks that. Okay. Then we've got one Don left active. Swing five into life again. We really want to go ahead and take a life from him. And he goes ahead and trashes that miss double finger there. Okay. So, he passes his turn. Back to us. We've got two life, one Don active. Honestly, we're not in a great position. Right now, we want to be on a cool 8 Don, and we're not, sadly. That Magellan really did put us, well, put us back quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. Putting us on 6 would have been nice, but sadly, we just didn't get there. Okay, so what are we going to do? What's the what's Purple Luffy going to do? He played the Queen, got a Don back for free, drew 2, trashed 1. And then he's going to swing into the Nami to get rid of that. Swing into the Lord to get rid of that. And then swing into Life. Okay. Do we choose to take it is the question. Like, there's no reason to take it. And we go ahead and Radical Beam? Okay, and then he goes ahead and drops an X Drake. And we trash the Gear 10 Luffy, one of the two that we added on earlier in the game. Okay. So we're in a bit of a tight spot here, not going to lie. We're on 7 Don. Realistically, we want to be on 8 here. But we can't be, obviously. So we got to deal with it. So how do we play out of this? What's the play? So we could drop a 7 drop kit here, puts us to 6, means we go to 8 next turn, then go to 9 the following turn. But we're going to go ahead and swing 6 into, I think that was the kid I tapped him, but he goes ahead and counters it. We have a 2k counter. Okay. What are we going to do with the rest of our Don? Like, well, what's, the, what's the optimal play here, right? We could go ahead and try and swing into the kid, he blocks with the queen. We could try swing into life. Take a life from him. Not a bad option. It looks like I'm going to go ahead and swing 8 into life. No, into a kid. Okay. And he goes ahead and counters with that Gum Gum Jet Gatling. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we've got one Don active. He has a total of, what, 5 swings? So he swings 5. We count off 1. Swings 6. We take it. Swings 6 again. Take that. Okay, and then what's going to happen? Like, he's got a ton of Don. He could fully just invest all of it into his leader, swing for game, right? 
So it goes ahead and swings. Hey, and oh, I just scooped there, it looks like. I just didn't have anything at that point. And honestly, I, I'm going to be honest. Like The reason we lost that was because... We didn't see any ramp until the end of the game there. Like, we see the Zoro Juro, but we really needed ramp in this game, and sadly, we just didn't see it. Like, like see, that's how my deck works. We don't see the ramp, we're in problems. That's why we play about 16 ramp cards in my build currently, and we saw only top end from the looks of it, where we saw multiple white beards, multiple Luffy's, which put us in a bit of a poor spot. But, anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy that game. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more One Piece content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Absolute Doors, signing out. Later, all.